Our first stop takes us back to the grandeur of ancient Greece with the iconic Parthenon. This impressive structure, a symbol of the cultural richness and sophistication of its era, was built during the Golden Age of ancient Greece, specifically in the 5th century BC. It stands as an enduring tribute to the artistry and architectural genius of the ancient Greeks. The Parthenon is not just a monument, it's a testament to the grandeur of a civilization that valued knowledge, beauty, and the human spirit. The sheer scale of the structure, coupled with the precision of its construction, is a testament to the Greek belief in man's ability to create and innovate. The Greeks weren't just builders, they were thinkers, philosophers, and artists. The Parthenon, like the society that built it, is a blend of thought and action, of design and execution. Constructed primarily of marble, the Parthenon, dedicated to Athena, the goddess of wisdom, embodies the ancient Greeks' reverence for their deities and their faith in the gods' involvement in human affairs. Athena herself was a symbol of wisdom, courage, inspiration, civilization, law and justice, strategic warfare, mathematics, strength, strategy, the arts, crafts and skill in ancient Greek religion and mythology. Thus, the Parthenon to Athena offers a glimpse into the religious beliefs and practices of the ancients, providing us with a unique cultural perspective. The Parthenon's architecture is nothing short of remarkable. Its Doric columns, intricately designed friezes, and the harmony of proportions reveal the architectural mastery of the ancient Greeks. The Doric order was one of the three orders of ancient Greek or classical architecture. The other two canonical orders were the Ionic and the Corinthian. The Doric columns, sturdy and fluted, and the friezes, decorated with sculpted scenes, tell a story of a culture that valued aesthetics as much as utility. Each stone, each carving, each column of the Parthenon speaks volumes about the people who built it. Their legacy, embodied in this magnificent structure, continues to inspire and captivate us, offering a glimpse into a world long past, but not forgotten. Its Doric columns and intricate friezes exemplify the pinnacle of classical Greek architecture, offering a timeless testament to the ancient culture's artistic and architectural prowess. Fast forward to the first century AD, and we find ourselves in Rome, Italy, at the foot of the Grand Colosseum. Now where exactly is this place? It's right there in the city center of Rome, the capital of Italy. Rome, a city where every street corner speaks history, where every stone has a story to tell. And right there, in the midst of this mesmerizing city, stands the Grand Colosseum, a monument of exceptional cultural significance. This colossal amphitheater, built by the Roman Empire, is a true architectural masterpiece. It reflects the grandeur of Roman architecture and engineering skills. Made of travertine, tough, and brick-faced concrete, the structure, spanning 189 meters in length and 156 meters in width, is a reflection of precise geometry and sound engineering. Can you imagine it was once? The amphitheater echoed with the roars of gladiatorial contests. Courageous warriors from different corners of the empire fought here, perhaps for their freedom, perhaps for glory, or maybe just for the amusement of the spectators. The air would be filled with anticipation, excitement and fear. The ground would vibrate with the stomping of feet and the walls would shiver with the echoing cheers. Public spectacles were another major event here. The Colosseum could host dramatic plays, elaborate mock sea battles and even public executions. Imagine the sounds, the smells, the sights, the roar of the crowd, the tension in the air. It was not just an amphitheater, it was the heart of Roman public life. Today, this grand structure wears the marks of time, weather, and history. It carries the weight of the countless lives that once passed through its arches. It's a visual reminder of the rise and fall empire, the changing tide of history, and the transient nature of power. Its stones whisper tales of grandeur, bravery, cruelty, and ambition. The Colosseum, despite the ravages of time, still stands proudly, silently watching over Rome. Its massive structure is a captivating sight, drawing millions of tourists each year. It's more than just an architectural marvel, it's a living, breathing testament to the might and ambition of ancient Rome. Today it stands as a monument to the might and ambition of ancient Rome. Next, we leap to medieval times to visit the glorious Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, France. The Notre Dame Cathedral, a majestic monument that is a testament to human ingenuity, faith and artistry, 
stands resplendent in the heart of Paris. It is a symbol of the city, not just for its geographical centrality, but also for its historical, spiritual and cultural significance. Constructed meticulously in the 12th century, this cathedral is an embodiment of the Gothic architectural style that was predominant during the period. An architectural masterpiece, the cathedral is adorned with soaring spires that reach out to the heavens, manifesting human aspiration for spiritual ascension. The spires, apart from their symbolic significance, also lend an imposing majesty to the cathedral, accentuating its grandeur. Also, the cathedral is embellished with intricate gargoyles, which serve both as water spouts and decorative elements, adding to the cathedral's aesthetic appeal. These gargoyles, rendered meticulously with fine detail, are a sight to behold, embodying the craftsmanship and artistic sensibilities of the artisans of the time. Next in line are the stunning stained glass windows, which are not merely architectural elements, but narrative tools that depict biblical stories and scenes. The vibrant colors of the glass, illuminated by the sun, cast a heavenly glow within the cathedral, making the environment within ethereal and divine. Notre Dame Cathedral, though physically damaged by the devastating 2019, continues to hold a deep-rooted place in the hearts of the French people and admirers worldwide. The fire, though it marred the physical structure, could not dampen the spirit of the cathedral. The cathedral, in its damaged state, stands as a symbol of resilience, the spirit of Paris itself. Efforts are underway to restore this beloved symbol of French history and culture. These efforts are testament to the love and respect the cathedral commands, aim to bring back the lost glory of this architectural marvel, and help it reclaim its place as a beacon of faith, culture and history. Despite the devastating fire in 2019, efforts are underway to restore this beloved symbol of French history and culture. Our journey then brings us to the late 19th century, to the foot of the Eiffel Tower. Designed by Gustave Eiffel for the 1889 World's Fair, this iron lattice tower has since become an emblem of Paris and a symbol of human ingenuity and architectural innovation. Rising over 300 meters into the sky, it offers breathtaking views of the city of lights. Finally, we arrive in the 21st century to behold the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao, Spain. Designed by Canadian-American architect Frank Gehry and opened in 1997, this contemporary wonder of titanium, glass and limestone is a masterpiece of deconstructivist architecture. Its curvilinear forms and reflective surfaces create a dynamic, sculptural presence that has transformed Bilbao into a global destination for art and architecture enthusiasts. To recap, we've journeyed through over two millennia of European architectural history, from the classical majesty of the Parthenon in Greece and the imposing grandeur of Rome's Colosseum, to the Gothic splendor of Notre Dame in Paris. We've marveled at the modern elegance of the Eiffel Tower and the cutting-edge design of the Guggenheim Museum in Bilbao. Each of these structures tells a unique story of the time and place in which they were built, reflecting the evolution of architectural styles and the enduring human drive to create and innovate. These timeless structures, each unique and spectacular in its own right, are but a glimpse into the rich architectural heritage of Europe. They serve as a reminder of the past while inspiring the present and future generations to continue pushing the boundaries of design and construction. So the next time you find yourself in Europe, remember to look up and around and take a moment to appreciate the architectural wonders that abound. Before we wrap up this incredible journey through time and space, we would like to remind you to engage with our content. If you found this video enlightening and would love to join us on more architectural adventures, don't forget to hit the like button below. It's your support that allows us to continue creating such content. And to ensure you don't miss out on our future explorations, please do subscribe to our channel. Whether it's diving deep into the architectural wonders of the East or tracing the evolution of American architectural marvels, we promise to keep bringing you engaging and educational content. We're grateful for your company on this journey through Europe's architectural heritage. And we look forward to sharing more architectural wonders with you. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and subscribe for more. Stay curious, keep exploring and until our next journey, goodbye.